This technology is extremely unique. People have been going after this holy grail of warm gas cleanup for decades. No one has succeeded except RTI, and we found no one else that has a competitive technology that can remove the sulfur at these kind of temperatures, uh, particularly as quickly as we do. The Department of Energy got involved because part of their drive is to try to lower the cost for using coal and other resources to produce power, fuels, and chemicals. And one of the things that always has held back the gasification process is its high capital cost. So they were looking for things that could start reducing the cost and also wanted to improve efficiency. When you improve efficiency, it helps you on a number of fronts, environmentally as well as lowering the cost. This technology allowed the Department of Energy to see that coal could be used cleanly. The idea was that any CO2 we capture from this technology could be safely sequestered or utilized. Then essentially you will not emit any CO2 out from in the atmosphere. We have actually gone with a transport system where we circulate the material back and forth between an absorber reactor where we remove the contaminants and a regenerator where we introduce air, burn off the contaminants, and can send it off for separate treatment. We constantly receive comments how they are amazed that we have actually managed to have the sorbent perform as well as it has, as long as it had, under the rather adverse conditions we have subjected it to. And right now, when you look at the, the syngas we're actually treating at the demonstration plant, we're removing the 99.9 plus H2S and COS. Most technologies will remove one or the other. Our technology simultaneously removes both. It has a very unique sorbent. Uh, that's one of the keys to its success. It is a sorbent that not only has high sulfur capacity, but also uh, very good attrition resistance, meaning it can go around the transport system without breaking apart, and also be almost infinitely regenerable. Go through multi, multi, multi cycles. Um, in fact, we've had sorbent last uh, two, three years without a loss in, significant loss in uh, sulfur uh, and removal performance. What's unique about RTI is our size and our ability to scale things. But what we had is the ability to scale it from all dimensions. The Warm Syngas project is really one of the great examples of taking it all the way from the lab bench to commercial demonstration, so really translating that knowledge into practice for something that can be of great benefit to the world for providing cleaner and more efficient energy. So we've been working with uh, Tampa Electric, DECO. We've been working with them from about 2006 when we ended our pilot plant. We kind of approached them to look at the next scale and we managed to put this all together and, and find a way to finance it through DOE's cooperative agreement. And we have three units. We have our desulfurization technology, which removes the sulfur. We then have a water gas shift reaction block, which essentially takes the CO, converts it to CO2, so we can get essentially a, a very high purity hydrogen product out. Then we have an activated uh, amine process that essentially extracts the CO2 and any remaining H2S or sulfur compounds. So the fuel we get out is essentially a very clean, and high purity hydrogen. Altogether, we've got about 4,000 operating hours uh, with syngas operations and through the warm gas cleanup block, and about 1,000 hours of total integrated operation with every system, uh, the, not only the warm gas cleanup, but the water gas shift and the amine carbon capture unit that captured up to 90% of the carbon from the system. We're able to show and demonstrate that the warm gas desulfurization sorbent performed at this near commercial scale, just like it did at the pilot scale, just like it did at the bench scale and the lab scale. The very interesting thing is when we went from the warm desulfurization process and took that clean syngas, fed it to the carbon capture block, which was an activated amine system, it gave an additional almost 100x removal of residual sulfur. So we went down to sub part per million uh, levels of total sulfur in the clean syngas, which is a level uh, never before seen with this type of system. It's been a great team that's worked together and that's why we've been so successful. And of course you can't have a good team unless the owner decides they want to make it a team. So I think that RTI has done a great job of letting us be a team. By looking at everything and understanding all its elements that we could do this project. We could do it, we could be successful, uh, we could make it work from a technological perspective. We can bring the project in on budget and on time. 
And you know that that was a very vast undertaking because this is a uh, technology which is one of a kind. It's a first of its kind in terms of bringing it to that scale. Almost always, you end up trading off one of those benefits for the other. You may get lower capital costs, but it comes at the expense of higher operating costs. You may get a cleaner material, cleaner uh, output a product, but at the expense of more capital investment, which is what usually happens, particularly with environmental treatment technologies. So this one's kind of unique in that you win, 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 and uh, on all fronts, the capital, the operating cost, efficiency, and the environmental performance. So anybody who's uh, looking at a coal gasification plant, whether it's for the power generation, that means IGCC, or making methanol, or ammonia, or hydrogen, uh, should definitely take a look at this technology because what it allows you to do is, is it allows you to remove sulfur up front from the, from the syngas, and then whatever you need to do with the syngas, you can adjust the, the CO2 removal accordingly, so that way you're not stuck uh, removing sulfur and CO2 and, and working with the limitation of the existing technology. This will significantly reduce capital cost and operating cost and improve the efficiency and simplify the process tremendously.